Hey everybody, it's Jay Janess with the Slash and Mini Network, and today I have a review for you. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Nintendo Cheese Wedge. Or if you turn it the other way, you have a Nintendo Doorstop. No, obviously it's the Nintendo 2DS. Uh, it's a redesign of the Nintendo 3DS that came out back in 2013. Uh, I want to say it was August or September, but I'm not quite sure, so don't quote me on it. But, how about we take a look and see what this thing can do. Well, here we have it, folks, the Nintendo 2DS. Um, the first thing that you... Well, let's go over the colors that it's available in. Uh, I have an electric blue one, and my girlfriend, she actually has the crimson red. Right now, these are the only two colors available for the system. But I've heard rumor that there's a third color scheme headed our way in America, but I'm not quite sure. Because Japan, they always seem to get the really cool color schemes. And all the extra super special editions. But, anyway, uh, yeah, it, it's a redesign of the Nintendo 3DS. This being the, I guess you'd call it the bastard son. But, actually, I find it quite comfortable to hold. You you can reach all the buttons with no problem. Uh, for those with average size hands like mine, they're going to find that it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, the curvature here down at the bottom actually fits really nice in the palm of your hands. And it, it just feels really good and feels natural. It's almost like holding a controller. Or, or even uh, it feels like you're holding the, the Wii U gamepad. But... Yeah, it it's got the same exact button layout as the as the 3DS, with the exception of uh, the start and select buttons being over at the side. The home button is still right in the middle, and they actually ended up moving the headphone jack to the left. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it was a little bit centered because when I'm holding it, uh, my hand kind of ends up tapping the uh, headphone jack. And that that's when it starts to feel a little uncomfortable, but I tend to find a way to adjust. But yeah, it, it it's a really nice system. Uh, you you've got your slot here for your stylus. Uh, you have your slot for your SD card. Now with the Nintendo 2DS, when you buy these brand new, you actually end up with a four gig card. Whereas with the 3DS, the original, you ended up getting a 2 gig card. But us us buyers of the 2DS, we, we get a little bit of a jump. Uh, what else here? On the side here, you've got your volume control. Uh, let me turn the system on from sleep so I can show you a couple of other things in the UI. Uh, if you can see it here in the upper left-hand corner of the bottom touch screen... You have yourself a little wrench, which indicates that it's the tool section. But all it actually has is your screen brightness and your wireless connection. Now, from there, you you can toggle it on and off, or what have you. And it, it, it's kind of strange, because in the UI here, like I said, you have the wireless communications. But on the side of the original 3DS and the 3DS XL, you actually end up having a little sliding, uh, little sliding button here, so you can turn the wireless on and off. Wireless switch. That's what I meant. Wireless button. But yeah. Anyway, uh, you you can do every single thing on this system that you can with the. Nintendo 3DS and the 3DS XL, but the only thing that it does not do is the 3D, and that's because this system was designed for children under the age of seven, and their eyes not being able to adjust well to the 3D, giving them headaches, and with their eyes still being in major development. But yeah, it it the system feels really nice to hold. Uh, it, it's quite inexpensive. Uh, brand new, you're going to buy this for $129.99, which is not a bad deal. I mean, if you don't want to shell out the extra 40 bucks f for a original 3DS, then this one might be good for you, especially if you have average size hands. But if you have large hands, 
you may or may not have any cramping issues. It, it might all depend on personal preference. But yeah, like I said, everything in the UI minus being able to adjust the wireless communication, it's the same exact layout as an original 3DS. Um, how about we show you a oh, couple of things I forgot to mention. Uh, one, you're going to notice that it's only got a mono speaker, but when you plug in a headphone jack, you actually get the stereo sound. Also, you have your front-facing camera, and on the back, oddly enough, you have the 3D cameras. But when you view the pictures, you're not going to be able to view them in 3D, but you can still send them to your friends and this and that and everything else. Uh, what else here? Yep, here you get your uh, power cord charger input, and you have your slot for your Nintendo D 3DS games and your DS games. And that's the really cool thing about the, three, the 2DS. They actually kept the backward compatibility, which was really awesome. So I give Nintendo props for that, and I give them props for coming up with this system. Because otherwise, I don't think I would have had any system from the... Nintendo 3DS family at the moment at least but it, it it's really really good I love it I mean I can't say enough good things about the system but how about we take a quick look at how on uh, Nintendo DS games look on it all right we're gonna eject Mario Kart 7 and we'll throw in new Super Mario Brothers for the DS All right, we're booting up, and there we go. New Super Mario Brothers on the 2DS. Uh, you're gonna notice that the DS games they don't go into a widescreen format because the original DS was not widescreen. But when you look at the graphics for a DS game, they look really, really good. I mean the I don't notice any real pixelation with the exception of when I was playing Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be a little pixelated because that game was built around being fully 3D. But in general, Nintendo DS games look really, really good and a big thumbs up to it. Uh, let me show you something else here. Um... We all know how big the DS screens were. They, they were actually about this size. But I'm going to show you one strange thing. Uh, when I boot up the game this time, I'm going to hold start in A. And you're going to see something that might bother you a little bit. Oh, let me try that again. All right, hold start. Oh, hold start, and A. Now, as you see, it shows it in what's called its original resolution. But I'm I, I'm not going to sit here and play it with screens this small. I'm going to play it as I normally boot it up. But yeah, overall, the system and Having the backward compatibility on this, just like the 3DS, it, it's really great. I mean, thumbs up. Major thumbs up. Uh, I can't say it enough. It, it just feels so nice in the hands. It's it's really great. But, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Nintendo 2DS. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone has yourself a good day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about this, folks, but uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. Um, it's actually the sleep switch here. Uh, obviously, the 3DS, I mean, the Nintendo 2DS cannot close, so that's why they ended up putting a sleep switch here um, to, to battle that. And also, there's a lot of games, there's a few games out there that require you to close the system. 
in order to reveal different secrets and whatnot for the different games. And as I said, to battle this, they ended up putting a sleep switch, which is really great. But, yep, once again, J slash Mini Network. Hope everyone has a good day, and I hope you enjoyed the video.